welcome to ethropy in this video i am going to explain the question number 2 and 3 of the chapter 7 that is functions in c in question 2 we have to declare a function which will the function name is calculate age and the function accept the current year and birth year of a person so first we will write the return type normally we write the age in integers that's why we will write the return type of the function as int then we will write the function name calculate then age after that inside the bracket we will pass two variables which will accept current year and birth year so we will write int c y again int birth year b y then bracket close semicolon this is the function declaration now again we have to write code segment to define the function this calculate age so same thing for this answer we will write calculate first we will write int then one space calculate age then bracket on and off and here we will pass these two variable int cy for current year and by for birth year then we will don't give semicolon here we will write curly braces and here we will take one more variable let it be int age now here we will write inside the bracket age equal from the current year we will minus the birth year so we will write age equal c y minus b y then we will return the age so we will write return age so this much only this is the declaration of the function this is the declaration oh sorry definition and this is the declaration now now let us try let it try in editor so first we'll take the header file hashtag include stdio dot h after it we'll define the function that is int calculate h then here we'll pass two integer variable int current year cy and int birth year by and here semicolon after that we will write the main function int main and here we will accept the current year and birth year so first we need a variable for that int current year for that i am writing current year and birth year these two are variable to store current year and birth year and one more we need to store the age that is we can keep as result so three variables i am taking now i have to take the input for these two variables so print it enter current year then slash n and we will write scanf statement here scanf percent %d and we will store it in current year then again we have to accept the birth here so printf enter birth here Plus n again scan it we will write percent d because we are accepting integer values that's why and we'll store it in birth year now we have to call the function for that we'll write result 
equal calculate is and in bracket we will pass current year and birth year. So, we will write current year comma birth year. semicolon and now print it. your age is percent d years then that person in place of percent d we are going to display result semicolon last line return 0. Now, we will exit from this main function and we are going to define the calculate is. So, we will write int calculate age and in bracket we will pass the variable int cy int by. Cy is to pass current year and by is to pass birth year. Here again we will take a variable int age and we will write age equal cy minus by then return age. Here see this part is function de declaration. And this part is function call, and this part is definition. So, these are three parts of this function. Now, let us run the program, build and run. So, asking me to enter the current year, suppose it is uh, 2022 and birth here 1999. Now enter we are getting your age is 23 years means whoever born in 1999 that person is will be at present 23 years. So, so this how we can do this program by using function. And here the main function is calling this function calculate age function. So, this function is called caller means it is calling someone oh sorry the main function is calling someone that is why it is called as caller function and inside the main function we have another function and this function is known as calling means this function is called by main function to do something. I hope you have understood the programs. Uh, some other programs related to main func uh, functions will be so. This way, we can do this program. I hope you have understood the program. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.